Allah said in the Quran, You who believe, all of you must repent to Allah, Subhana wa ta'ala. Some of the Muslims, due to the limited knowledge of an Islam, they may assure they can delay the Tawbah until they reach a certain age until they get married, until they perform their Hajj, that they can do whatever they want to do because Allah wait for them and angel of death wait for them. But they don't realize that the angel of death does not discriminate, does not know whether you're young or old. It does not care whether you're rich or poor, whether you male or female, whether you're healthy or ill, the angel of death has a list of names. And based on that list, the angel of death take the souls of the people. Some of the stories from Beni Israel in just to support what we saying, not to take it as the core material of our deen. But the angel of death he looks, and the person's face five times a day and he see this person. That is planning for his future, is planning for his wedding. He's planning for his business. He's planning for his trips. He's planning for the future of his children. But the angel of death is saying what a poor soul. He does not know that his time is coming soon. He doesn't know, but he thinks he has so much time. In a similar narration, we all know the story of King and Prophet Suleiman Ali Salam. That in the presence of the Prophet, his advisors were sitting next to him, one of his advisors. He felt uncomfortable and he left. And he came back later on and Suleiman said Ali his Salam to him is not. It is not your nature to act like that and behave as such and leave as such. He said, The man who was sitting next to you was staring at me, looking at me in a strange way. He made me very uncomfortable, so I left. Who was he? Suleiman said that was the angel of death. The advisors said me dot and the angel of death on the same land we cannot be so. Please order the wind to carry me to far land from the earth of Allah, Shaban Watala, Suleiman making a long story to short. He ordered the wind to carry this man to the land of India. And shortly the angel of death most once again came to Suleiman. And when he came to him, so the man said to the angel of death, You made my advice is very uncomfortable. What were you staring at him like this? He said. I was shocked about his presence here. Allah had ordered me to take his soul in the land of India. So I pulled the horns of the Allah and I went to India saying some subhana Allah. How can I take the soul of this man who is all the way in Palestine and all of a sudden, the wind warranties me. On due time, so I took his soul. So no matter what we try to do, and this is again in Sahih al-Bakhari, so again, we have no knowledge. When the angel of death would come, I would ask your soul to be delivered and send it back to Allah. And that's what we say in in the Quran. Inna lillahi wa inna ilahi We belong to Allah and into Allah will also shall return. Indeed, we belong to Allah and indeed to him we will return.